Well, first of all, thank you very much, everyone, for coming. Secondly, to the commissioners, Commissioner of Inquiry, for the great work that they've, they've done, and particularly the Haldane Society and the Young Legal Aid Lawyers for really organising this. Um, I think this is a real achievement and can move into the campaign uh, that will undoubtedly have to uh, continue, alas. Now, I want you to listen very carefully to what I'm about to say next. It's my understanding uh, that uh, the result of the consultation may be announced pretty shortly, maybe even within, well, within the week, and that uh, certainly at an early, early stage, maybe even now, part of the thinking of the government is as follows, that over 90% of respondents disagreed with the proposals to remove from the scope of legal aid those cases and proceedings set out in the consultation. In general, having considered the objection raised, the government intends to pursue the reforms to scope as originally proposed. That's the understanding I have, uh, um, and uh, I think that's uh, important to understand, realize, and it's important to mention that, I think, this afternoon. That means the campaign, of course, continues and uh, in increases. I think thanks must be given to Justice for All, to the Law Society for their sound off and for justice, their, their campaigns which have worked so well separately and together, and now we add, of course, the Commission as, as well as part of this movement uh, to try and stop the government making a really very serious mistake. And may I say, and this is probably absolute treason for me as a Labour peer, to say what a shame it is that Evan Harris is not a Lib Dem MP at the present time. I, I think we certainly, this campaign certainly would need him in Parliament, we're very glad to have him um, working so hard.